time for a new round of New Day Hot Topics. Please welcome this week's guest panelist, comedian Adam Hunter, and from the Barbershop Show, our bud Terry Holloman is here. Hi, guys. Hey. Very nice to see you. Glad Terry, to be have you ever done Hot Topics before? Uh, like once or ten times before. Once? Okay. Uh -huh. um, we spin the wheel, we land on a topic, and then you say whatever you want. How do you like them apples? Love it. Okay. I'm glad, hot mess. So there is something called the Tide Pod Challenge oh. that is a dangerous trend where people are eating the little Tide Pod things that you put in your dishwasher or your your laundry. Um, this has gotten to be a big enough deal that uh, the Patriots Rob Gronkowski actually made a commercial about this. Let's take a look at that. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No. What the heck is going on, people? Use Tide Pods for washing, not eating. I have no idea how this even got started. Do not. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Like, when I was a kid, you said a dirty word, your parents would wash your mouth right. out with soap. Now kids are doing it themselves. So, uh, <laughs> they've yeah. skipped a step. No, speaking about being a kid, I was thinking, like, if you would have came to a young Terry in 1988 and said, what do you expect 2018 to be like? You'd be like, oh, there's going to be flying mm -hmm. cars and... We could, you know, everybody's gonna have their own personal robot, but no, we're talking about kids don't eat the tide. I, well, it doesn't make any sense. Like everybody's worried about them because little kids might think it's candy. Right, Even yeah. older people have confused that. But these are people who are doing it. Like, how many On can purpose. I eat? I, well, why can't we have good challenges like do your homework challenge? Yeah. <laughs> or uh, walk an old lady across the street challenge. Clean your exactly. room challenge. Exactly. Or a give me money challenge. Okay. You know, uh, <laughs> We'll work on that, but it's a no, right? No. One, two, three. No. 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 Don't do it. All right. I like it when we can solve these things. I'm going to go over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love to cheat. Um, so I found this on the internet. 12 questions you probably have not asked your future spouse, but should. Too late for you and me. Are you yep. married? Yes, just got okay. married recently. We're all too late for this. Um, so let's see what your answers would be to these questions. How much alone time do you need? Uh, me, uh, as much as possible. Um, <laughs> then you did the wrong thing. Yeah, you no, you, you got, got married. married. No, I, I like being alone, but not, not you know, just, just, you know, it's just good to have space. Yes. You know, it's good to have Terry, space. you yeah. have no alone time because you have four alone kids. Time. Right, yeah. there's no alone time. I find alone time when I drive. Yeah. So that's what I do. I, I find excuses to drive places. Like, oh, I need to go to the grocery store? Three yes. hours later, I come back with <laughs> Tide Pods. I love, I love seeing you in the in the car with your daughter the other day dancing to Rick James. That's I thought, why are, why are my rides more fun? Are you more afraid of being abandoned or being smothered, Adam? Uh, probably abandoned, but you know, smothered could be rough too. Like my my wife, I love my wife, but like she's very. Like, uh, when she was younger, she used to sleep with her mom until she was in middle school, mm. and uh, she graduated last week. There's <laughs> uh, so, so a little issue there, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I have faith in you, Terry. Yeah, um, you know, I don't have a problem being smothered, because like I said, four kids, I'm right. pretty much smothered all the time. Yeah. So yeah, abandoned. So that's good. You, you're not gonna be abandoned. No, um, I don't have that problem. All right, how do you envision supporting your parents as they age, Adam? As soon as they stop supporting me, I'll support them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, in a, I'm in a unique situation where, you know, my parents and my wife's parents, they're probably smarter than both of us. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're very self-sufficient. So I think they'll probably be taking care of us. They'll until still be doing that. Yeah. Okay. In the middle of a fight, do you prefer to keep talking until you come to a solution or take a break and come back to it? Uh, I would say uh, keep talking, but she's usually taking a break, so I'm talking to myself <laughs> right. at that point. Um, Waiting for her to return. No, yes. me, no, I'm a, I'm a breaker. Sure. I like, You're a breaker? I'm a breaker. Yeah. Because <laughs> you need a little time to No, I need some to space cool because uh, sometimes, you know, I'm the kind of person I, it takes me a long time to get aggravated, but when I get to the point, sometimes I will say stuff and do stuff that I don't necessarily mean, and you can't usually get that back. So, so I like to take a break. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to get that back yeah. even if you say I'm sorry. So right. that's good to know about yourself, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. What, what, what do you consider cheating? Uh, anything she finds out about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Best I, I, answer ever. I'm kidding. I don't cheat because it would break my wife's heart to see me that happy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's these, awesome. these are jokes. I'm a comedian. It's a joke. Jokes. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's jokes. He does it for a living. Yeah. I'm not answering the question now after this dude. <laughs> yeah. but no, no. Uh, what do you consider cheating? Uh, I don't know what you, what do you consider cheating? I don't, you know, I've never been put in that situation to ask and to think about what I consider cheating. Do you know what the proper just, answer is? What? For a man, I'll tell you from a wife. Please tell Anything us. your wife would consider cheating. Yeah, that's, that's what, that's what I was going to say. Cheating. And when you're yeah. on the, the host show, anything that she <laughs> says is right. <laughs> so. Just trying to help gender to gender, Thank that's you, all. 
Okay, going around and cheating to say what? <laughs> All right, humble bragging makes people dislike you according to science. Now, I wasn't entirely sure what this is, but we're going to put them up on screen. So this is, um, this is an example, three examples. Okay, how do I stop TweetDeck from notifying me when someone has favorited my tweets? It's clogging up my replies. So oh. We're kind of bragging oh, yeah. that we're so popular that it's annoying. Number two, I hate when I go into a store to get something to eat and the mail staff are too busy hitting on me to get my order right. Oh, so annoying. Yeah. I shouldn't have tweeted that. Okay, yeah. Oh. And then number three, sign my first book tonight. Turns out I have the penmanship of a three-year-old, but we want everybody to know we were signing our, our books. Book, yeah. So I didn't really know what that was, but it's kind of one of those where you, when somebody says, so honored to be recognized as yeah. the best person in the world tonight <laughs> at an event. Yeah. What is it that's so annoying about that? I, I don't know. It's just I hate when I get standing ovations. So, uh, <laughs> so humiliating. It's, it's horrible. And people get, you know, you just want me to keep coming back and making them laugh. So it's, it's, it's rough. You know, I was thinking about this on my long ride from Snohomish this morning yes. to come be on TV today. Yes. Um, <laughs> There's one. And uh, it's just so tough to do these yes. things, you know? But no, no. I, and I, I was very reading, clever. I, very know, I saw what you did there, Holman. Like, I'm there, I'm there. But no, I was, I was reading an article that said people actually like people who just flat out brag. Yeah. As opposed to humble Own bragging, it. which to me is kind of weird. But I, I guess, you, you know, when you know people who brag and are obnoxious like that, you expect that from them. And you kind of don't want to see other people that you don't expect that from with the, um, so, so tired of being so beautiful. If you're, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember that don't hate me yeah, being I'm beautiful. so beautiful yeah. or whatever commercial. Yeah, so that happens. All right, so if we're going to brag, we're just going to flat own out it, brag. do it, yeah. or don't. But don't go down the middle with that. All right, now I'm not going to cheat, but now I have to because <laughs> it landed on the wrong thing. Wowza, do we really need an Alexa-powered toilet? No. Um, <laughs> no, this is a real thing. So Kohler, which is Look a great that. brand, is making these fancy toilets that you can ask to heat up the seat, lift the lid, play your favorite music, and of course flush. It has hands-free controls, and it, le it says, this is what it actually says in the news release that, quote, that let users fine tune every aspect of their experience to their exact preferences. Uh, and these cost like $5,600 and the Whoa. fancy, the fancier black one is $6,500. Okay, so is this a useful thing? I mean, at, at this point, why even leave the toilet uh, all day? <laughs> Just, you know, get food delivered while you're there, uh, have someone come over and wipe you. I, 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 mean, I mean, like, I mean, I mean what? It's getting so, it's so ridiculous at this point. It's a little much. But you know what, it's nice though, like I would like it that if your phone, like you could be later on that day, if you forget to flush, you could just be like, Alexa, flush. <laughs> and then yes. all of a sudden. You have absolutely. the camera on your phone to see what you did? Right. Yeah, exactly. And I think there are various levels of flushing. Do you require this no, level of service? No, no, okay. I mean, we have so much creature comfort these days. Like, I don't feel like I need to do anything. I don't need to lift the toilet seat or put it down or flush it. There's some things that just, that, Keep it old school. Yeah. Flush the toilet when you're done. Put the seat down and lift it up. <gasps> Put the seat down, he said. Yes! Uh, I have three daughters, man. Yay! But to I be mean, honest with you, I gotta be honest with you, they used to have a sticker on the toilet for me that said, Dad, put the seat down. But so. you, you learned. But it's stuck in there. That's amazing. I'm going to print it out, laminate it, <laughs> spread it across the country. Adam is recording his comedy album tonight through Saturday at Seattle Comedy Underground. Please visit our website for show times and tickets. Obviously, he's very funny. And social media links for Adam and Terry. And Terry, of course, is co-hosting the Barbershop Show with our other friend, co -ho well, our other friend, like I have two of them, um, <laughs> his co-host, Marcus Trufant, former yes. Seahawk. Okay, loved having you guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. By the way, this Come is a beautiful often. crowd. You guys, Aren't they? Yes, I like this. Yay! This we give you a round of applause. Thank okay, you. still ahead, an easy new way to eat organic on the go. It's organic fast food. I kid you not. We'll be right back.